And I'm Marty Vinco. No one can keep in mind, let alone implement all the good advice that's out there. So, as a thought experiment, I asked myself, what have my clients found to be the most useful pieces of advice for making the most of life? After I listed them, I rearranged the first letter of each to make an acronym, <clears throat> and it came out Home TV. So the first letter, H, stands for health. Talk to most people with a health problem, and they'll say that health is all. Well, whether or not you agree, it's hard to live much life if you're sick or in pain, let alone in the ICU. The plea here is for moderation, because for most people, that's what's sustainable. Moderate eating, moderate exercise, moderate stress. The next letter in home TV is make others, oh there, make others feel good. The venerable book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, urges that we say and do things that make other people feel good. Well, key to doing that is to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Would saying or doing that make the person feel better or worse? Yeah, there's a time to criticize or to mention your accomplishment, even if it makes the person feel less than, but that should be the exception far from the rule. Next, the M in home is the material in slaves. Beyond a bare middle-class lifestyle, additional buying tends to cause more problems than it's worth. That applies to upscale home, upscale furniture, upscale car, upscale clothes, upscale jewelry, and upscale vacations. For example, a materialistic lifestyle usually contracts your career options to those that pay more, and that may eliminate choices that would yield you more benefit than the aforementioned Tony purchases. Also, the materialistic lifestyle is like an addictive drug. You need to buy ever more to get that transient shopper's high. Countless wealthy people sit in their mansions, sipping or guzzling their Chardonnay, wondering if that's all there is. The final letter in home is emphasize work or life. Let's say your career is rewarding and contributory and your efforts aren't fungible. That is, if you weren't doing the work, the work wouldn't get done or be done by someone who would do it less well. If that's the case for you, you might want to prioritize the work part of work-life balance. In contrast, if your career is fungible, not enjoyable, and not very contributory, you might want to emphasize the life part of work-life balance. Now we turn to the TV part of uh, home TV, this, that acronym. The T stands for traffic light rule. We all know people who are long-winded, whose utterances are filled with uninteresting details and tangents, and whose main point gets lost amid the disjointedness. Not only is that boring, it can be annoying because you're deprived of your chance to participate fully in the conversation. An antidote to that is what I call the traffic light rule. During the first 30 seconds, your light is green. In the second 30 seconds, it's yellow. The risk is greater of being discursive. And at one minute, your light's red. Yeah, very occasionally, you'll want to run a red light and keep talking, but usually it's wiser to stop or ask a question. And the final letter in the acronym Home TV is the voice, what I call the voice. Key to making the most of your life is having a voice in your ear, ever asking yourself, is this a good use of time? Use that in deciding whether to do a task, what's a time effective and perhaps pleasurable way to do it, and as you're doing the task, deciding whether additional work on that part is worth the time. Of course, whole libraries could be filled with life advice, but a simple, important distillation of some valuable ideas exists in just that acronym, Home TV. In any event, I hope you like that. I'm Marty Nemko. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like you to hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.